All right, so now let's look at the same code again. I haven't changed anything using the uh, TNZ uh, 3.1, uh, 32-bit AVR chip. And that chip is just so much faster than your basic Arduino. So let me try to send blue, green, red, and then white. I'll go into an auto mode where the LEDs are constantly changing. It's a little bit hard to see on video, but yeah, you can see them transitioning. That means that the chip is spending its entire time uh, updating the LEDs. So it has to send that exact timing. However, if I go push a remote key, it still is able to take it uh, just in time. And I can look uh, here on the screen. Let me send red you can see the red is going through. So what's going on? Well, uh, the fast LED code uh, is actually much better than the Adafruit code and supports architectures better. If you look at the highlighted line here, in the middle of updating the LEDs between each pixel, um, it's actually able to send the beginning of the wave and then the, f the chip is so fast that it can actually stop re-enable the interrupts, SEI, then it will wait for a number of microseconds during which the interrupts can fire, and this is where the infrared interrupt that was waiting gets to run, and that's why it's receiving the code. And then, because that interrupt runs quickly enough, uh, it's able to run within that delay time, and when the interrupts are cleared again, uh, CLI meaning disabled, uh, then the infrared cannot run anymore, but it was able to gather enough data uh, just in between that pixel update time. So that's how it's able to do both at the same time, by just switching quickly enough between two time critical tasks, it's able to take it and do the right thing. So I can send more codes and you, you don't see all the LEDs updating, but you can see that it's receiving all my uh, commands and getting the LEDs busy changing all the time. So that is the TNZ. That's how you actually benefit from having a faster CPU. Uh, in my case, I try to get the cheapest one because, well, you know, I, I like to save. I don't like to spend more resources than I need to for a task, but it's actually, in this case, a task that requires a fast enough CPU like this one or two different ones talking to one another. I hope this was helpful.